Welcome to this Saturday Travel and History Tip, part two of our visit to the Pennsylvania State Museum. If you haven't watched that travel tip, I recommend that you go back. This one is focusing on things that are special and iconic to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania produces 80% of the nation's hard pretzels. By 1879, the state of Pennsylvania was the second largest beer producer in the nation, and you thought it was Wisconsin. By 1879, also, Pennsylvania was growing nearly 30 seven tons of cigar tobacco, making it the largest producer in the nation. In the 1880s, Owigsburg, Schuylkill County was home to 11 shoe companies that produced 1.4 million pairs of shoes annually. Today, it is home of the Kepner Scott Shoe Company, a renowned manufacturer of children's shoes. East Penn Manufacturing Company of Berks County is the largest independent manufacturer of automotive batteries in the world. The flexible catheter was invented in Pennsylvania by Benjamin Franklin in 1752. In 1858, while living in Philadelphia, Hyman Lippmann invented a pencil with an attached eraser to make erasing more convenient. Thanks, Hyman. In 1905, the first motion picture theater in the U.S. called a Nickelodeon opened in Pittsburgh. The emoticon was created at Carnegie Mellon University by Scott Fallman in 1982. He hoped it would help folks differentiate between jokes and serious postings on message boards. They helped me a lot on text. Thanks, Scott, the TV Guide began distribution out of Philadelphia in 1953 and was the first publication of its kind. The first edition featured Little Ricky, the son of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. The first Ferris wheel was manufactured in Pittsburgh by George Ferris in 1893. It was erected at the World's Columbian Expedition in Chicago. And there is so much crazy information about that Columbian Exposition. Pennsylvania is the nation's leading producer of mushrooms, second in production of apples and third in production of eggs and Christmas trees. We have been to a mushroom farm as a guest of one of the workers. H.J. Hines Company started in Pittsburgh in 1869. Although Hines' original condiment was horseradish, tomato ketchup quickly became the company's highest grossing product. I don't like any other ketchup but Hines. The Reading Railroad. By the 1870s, the Reading Railroad, originally the Philadelphia and Reading Railroad, included a coal mining operation and and iron foundries, making it one of the largest conglomerates in the world. Remember that on Monopoly? Take a ride on the Reading. We toured Faldscraft many years ago. That was a great tour. Musselmans. From 1907 to the present, Christian and Emma Musselman got their start producing canned foods from their orchards for soldiers fighting in World War I. In 1934, Mr. Musselman invented his own machinery that tripled the production of applesauce. They do make really good applesauce. Saros Scotty. 1957 and 1997 and revived in 2006, the Scotty trailer was both lightweight and affordable, making it a very popular choice among families. C.F. Martin, the original maker of Martin Guitars apprenticed in Vienna before opening his guitar shop in Nazareth. We have toured the Martin Guitar Company. They have built a fabulous museum and visitor center. We have also been out to Hershey. It started in 1894. Milton S. Hershey began producing his world-famous milk chocolate as a coating for caramels. In 1900, Hershey's Milk Chocolate Bar was introduced, followed in 1907 by my all-time favorite, Hershey's Kisses. I could use a tub that big full of kisses for sure. Philco Corporation. From 1892 to 1961, Philco produced carbon arc lamps and batteries before turning to radios and in 1925 and then other appliances in the 1930s and 40s. The company introduced the tabletop Predicta Princess Swivel Television in 1959. And then there's Slinky. From 1945 to 1998, Holidays Berg. Richard James debuted his Slinky at Gimbel Department Store in Philadelphia, where he sold the first 400 units in 90 minutes. Mack Truck, headquartered in Allentown. From 1905 to 2009, the truck manufacturing company introduced its iconic bulldog emblem in 1932. Taylor Aircraft Company started in 1931. The first Cub aircraft was designed and built by C. Gilbert Taylor, later redesigned as the Piper J3 Cub. Its affordable design, simple construction, and easy maneuverability contributed to the aircraft craft's success. And then there's Quaker State and Pennzoil from Oil City. Hero Glassworks. Banana Split? 
In La Trobe in 1904, apprentice pharmacist David Evan Strickler made the first banana split at Tassel's Pharmacy. The dessert originally cost 10 cents. I'll take one. Tasty Baking Company. Tasty Cakes. Had one? I bet you have. Cornelius Holgate established a woodworking shop outside Philadelphia where he constructed a variety of household, farm, and industrial implements. In 1929, Holgate expanded to create educational wooden toys for children. The dates? 1789 to present. Go Holgate. Yingling is the oldest continuously operating brewing company in the United States. It has been family owned and operated since its founding by David Yingling in 1829. And then there's Charlie's Chips. How many of you got Charlie's Chips delivered to your house? I did when I was a kid. It's from Lancaster and it started in 1942 when Effie Musser began producing homemade potato chips in her kitchen as a way to keep her family's farm afloat. Go Effie. The company later made Charlie's Chips and added several products, including cookies and pretzels, to their offerings. And then there's Crayola in Easton from 1885 to present. Cousins Edwin Vinnie and C. Harold Smith opened their manufacturing plant in Easton and introduced Crayola crayons in 1903. This package is from 1917. Wow. The Philadelphia Chewing Company in Havertown. It closed in 2003 and they made a variety of novelty chewing gums, including bubblegum cigars and the sticks packed with trading cards. Did you ever Ever eat one of those bubblegum cigars? Uh, chew it. I did. Those were lots of fun. The Hubley Manufacturing Company began in the 1940s and is the producer of more cast iron toys than any other company in the world. And then there's Connex, York Barbell, 8 Ball Soda, Hires Root Beer, Copenhagen. What? Copenhagen Snuff, one of the oldest branded products still in use in the United States, was first produced by George Wayman at his tobacco shop. The Westing Electric Company originated in Pittsburgh. Pyrex. Zippo. Yes, we tried to tour Zippo, and it was during that time of... We couldn't get into Zippo, and that was a bust. And then there's Keebler Bakery. Wow, Keebler. Yay. And Just Born Company. Peeps. How many of you love to get those little peeps at Easter? The pink ones. And the yellow ones. They're a sugary delight. Mrs. Paul's Fish Sticks. Some of us grew up eating fish sticks. Actually, these kind of fish sticks make pretty good fish tacos. There are Sturgis Pretzels, the Pennsylvania Sugar Refining Company, of course, Cheesesteak Sandwiches. Started in Philadelphia around 1930. If you ever go to Philadelphia, I recommend you go to market and get a yummy, warm, cheesy Philadelphia cheesesteak sandwich. San Giorgio Pasta? Really? It was founded by an Italian immigrant who bought the key Stone Macaroni Company in Lebanon, originally producing 100 pounds per day. The company quickly grew and by 1950 was producing 400,000 pounds of pasta per week. And then there's Mrs. T's pierogies. Have you ever had a pierogi? They're really famous in Michigan. It's from Shenandoah. How about this cute guy? From Wilkes-Barre. Started in 1906. Planters was founded by Italian immigrants Emidio Obici and Mario Peruzzi. They began using the iconic Mr. Peanut character in 1916. And then there's Mrs. Smith's pie, and they're showing off one of them that is pie in minutes. 10 minute microwave, 20 minute oven. It's in Pottstown. They started there in 1925 and continue producing the frozen ready to bake pies, which were introduced in 1952. And then there's Scott Tissue. They started in Philadelphia. In 1879 and were founded by brothers Clarence and Irvin Scott. The Scott Paper Company was the first company to market rolls of toilet tissue in the 1890s. Thanks guys, uh, we're grateful to you for sure. And then there's Hex signs from Leonard Hartsville. Many barns throughout Pennsylvania are decorated with hex signs, also known as barn stars, that incorporate traditional Pennsylvania Dutch images of stars, tulips, birds, and hearts. And then there's Harley Davidson, which was founded in Wisconsin, but the company established a factory in York in 1973, where four models of motorcycles are made. And this is all a part of American history. Learn it. Love it. Appreciate it. Don't let them steal our history. Teach children our American history. And next Saturday, Gettysburg. Now we are engaged in a great civil war. Hope you watch the Saturday Travel and History Tips. Thank you.